Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to walk you through what a trial balance is. You might already know, but in case you don't, I just thought I'd show you real quick. So I'm going to use the sample QuickBooks Online file. I'm going to go to Reports, and I'm just going to say Search for Report Name and File and Trial Balance. I'm going to find it. I'm just going to say I want all dates. The trial balance in a nutshell is going to be all of the accounts on the balance sheet, not including the net income, followed by all of the accounts on the profit and loss report. So this is your trial balance. Let me just make a duplicate tab. What I've grabbed it on my second tab is the balance sheet. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to change it to all dates. So they both say all dates. What I want you to see is that when we look at the trial balance, these numbers are the same. So checking, checking, saving, savings, accounts receivable, accounts receivable. As I go all the way down, they're the same. So that's going to take you to about the halfway point on your trial balance. So it's going to stop, stop with opening balance equity. So let me go down here. It stops with opening balance equity. When looking at the balance sheet, you'll see net income of 1642. But when you look at the trial balance on the left hand side of my screen, you don't see that number anywhere. The reason you don't is because the net income is the difference between the income and the expenses. It doesn't need to show up on the trial balance because mathematically it's already there. So let me just show you how the rest of this comes together. The top portion of your trial balance just above the line, that's all the information that's found on your balance sheet. So again, the balance sheet is the stuff on the right hand side of my screen. Everything below the line is what's going to show up on the profit and loss or the income statement. Let me just change this to the income statement or profit and loss report so you can see what I mean. So I'm going to make it all dates, run report. When we look at the profit and loss in QuickBooks for the sample file, it's kind of confusing because there's accounts with sub accounts and some of the sub accounts have sub accounts and so on and so forth. I'm going to take the example of income landscape service income with a sub account of job materials with a sub account of fountains. That income is 2246. If you look over here, you can kind of see landscape service, job materials, fountains, 2246. On the right hand side, when you look at the profit and loss, it has kind of a nice tier structure. On the left hand side, when you look at the trial balance, it's all flat. And so you just have to look for the colons to see, oh, okay, yep, that's what I'm looking at. What I want you to see, however, is that the income and the expenses that appear on the trial balance, they match the income and expenses that appear on the profit and loss. As I work my way down, you'll see that they match. At the very bottom, that's the net income number we saw on the balance sheet. The reason we didn't see it on the trial balance is because mathematically, it's all of this other information. So I hope this was helpful. Sometimes it just feels a little overwhelming when you're learning bookkeeping and people throw out words like trial balance and you think to yourself, oh, what is this other report? I just wanted to let you know, you already know what this is. You just don't know that you know what this is. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them in the comments below. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, reach out. If you'd prefer to outsource your bookkeeping, let me know. If we can help, fantastic. If we can't help, we'll just try to connect you with someone who can. Thanks and have a great day.